each occasion. Yet now, I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the artist world call a slump. I think a lot of people to go into slumps truth. for various different reasons. Are you aware that I am attending? Yes. <clears throat> Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In, early, in the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired, when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the purest, the pursuit of pure beauty. The goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to attain the illustrious allure of the Sayuri in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move, and the resulting work reflects such impurity of the mind. To be honest, I am unsure as to whether I can call myself an artist anymore. You seem stressed. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there, but I simply cannot accept the lack of uh, purpose in my work. That is why I am so upset with my own indecision, such vague ambition, in essence, a sin of sorts. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. Hmm. I only wish to create a work I can genuinely be proud of. The seer, please look over there at, at the Sayuri. Her incandescent figure, the alluring gaze, that is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs? Because the soul differs? What if my estimations are correct and the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart? What then is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand! To be perfectly frank, I am unsure of how to do this. Asir, would you be able to provide me assistance? You've already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you, of all people, may be able to bring me closer to the truth. I'd be glad to help. I'm in your debt. You... what? You're wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever, and purity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. See you. I look forward to speaking to you about this matter again. I walk Yusuke to the station. It's the rainy season. There we go. Rain, huh? Okay. So I checked online and people are talking about it all over. Now, in my expert opinion, Lita of class 2D is guilty. You mean Lita Kuhn from our class? Wait, started the beginning. What's, what's he guilty of? Supposedly he's been spending money left and right recently. Said it's because of some great part-time job he got. I see. That may very well be worth looking into, right? Can you try to ask him about it, On? I don't think he'd be cautious around a girl. In that case, yeah, I don't mind giving it a try. Although I'd rare, I've rarely talked to Lita uh, Kuhn before. I'll be counting on you to back me up if something happens this year. Welcome back, Vala. Only if it's necessary. That should be more than enough, thanks. I'm hoping to da 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 Yep, yep. Alright. Alright, so can I go... Alright, can't do Ewa yet, so let's... Seems it's raining. Bathhouse time! If I use the bath, I might come out with a bit of more charm than I had before. Okay. Let's go in. 
Bath time! The water feels a bit lukewarm. It's probably because there aren't many people here today. I guess this means I can probably stay here for a while. Your charm will increase more than usual if you stay for uh, if you stay for longer in the bath. However, there's a chance that this may cause your guts to increase instead of your uh, your charm. Go for a longer bath. This lukewarm water is warming my body really slowly. Oh. You were in there for quite a long time. That heat must have gotten your blood flowing. Your skin's glowing too. So handsome. Hmm. Ooh, three charm? Is that three charm? Nice. All right. Wanna head back? Oh, he's not that wrinkly. He's just so, so glowing. Yes, let's read. Hmm? The wretch quaked in fear as the poor rejoiced. Wow. Ishikawa Goman was a thief without peer, so he was a hero of the common people, huh? Hey, hey. So I didn't realize how long you've been reading. How far did you get? Didn't finish it. Pretty terrible. Lunchtime. Hey. Guy's a freaking coward. And I tr can and I can't trust you. You must do something about this at once. You're the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. <laughs> what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied. Before I really said we're halfway through June. It's only it's the only month of the year with no holidays and it's filled with rain. Truly a season of hell. I'm exaggerating. You say I'm exaggerating, you say, ha! You're just you're all just ignorant. After all, what's falling from the sky is as a ring that can melt metal. Draco Coon, let's test your knowledge and imagination. What would happen if you kept washing your hair with water that's contaminated with metal? Uh, I think it's a uh, get a okay. I thought it was change color, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> that's it. Drink green if the metal is copper, red if it's rust. However, acerine can't melt gold or civil silver. If you want to dye your hair gold, use bronze coins. Thinking you can save money by skipping a visit to the hair salon, it seems you still don't understand the horror of acid rain. No nice going. Mm -hmm. All right. 
right. London once had acid rain on the level of stomach acid? More than 4,000 people died? Is that a thing? Did that really happen? Hold on. Wow, acid smog crisis of 1952. Wow, there was so much coal being shoveled into furnaces and uh, houses and factories that it released enough sulfur dioxide that that it actually made it so that as the people were breathing the air, it turned into acid in their lungs. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. That's, that's rough. Actually, no, we were never taught about that in school. Let's go back up Lady On. Mm -hmm. Sorry for asking you so suddenly. Let's look around. Maybe. Let's ask this girl. Mm. Ah, library after school. Okay, bingo. What's this about a job? I want to help him. Tell me what you know. Near Central Street. What was this job? I don't know. I was so scared I ended up going home alone. But according to Ilda, Lida, it only takes 10 minutes and it is good for people who don't stand out. Anything else? Hmm, how suspicious. Yep, Central Street. <laughs> Probably fraud. Probably drugs. about 
So I guess I gotta go back downstairs. Back to my class of 2D. That's interesting. Hmm? Hey! Uh... Tell us the truth. Go play someplace a little quieter. Oh, he's giving us deets. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? You're a drug smuggler. How did you? I've only told one person about that. Of all people, I can't believe you were the one to find. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. Are you being threatened? So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. Pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? Never. I see. Well, even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Well then. It's drugs. Stop for today. Shut up. <laughs> no. Please still be raining. Please let me to be able to do something in the evening. Good. <sighs> You know what? Let's... Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh... Let's do the bathhouse again. Since it's raining. Okay. Bathhouse. Go for a longer bath. Oh. Hmm. More charm. All right. Want to head back? All right. So I also need to work on getting my knowledge up and my guts. So I think I need to have some evenings where I go have study at the diner. So humid. Mm. I don't get it. Dun, 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 dun. 
Yo. What's well, all? We'll do it. Yeah. All right. Let's get going. Yes. Yes, that is charming. Hello. Mm. Hey, aren't you interested in uh, the hottest brand names? train station. So the train station is this way? Or is it the other one? That's how they communicate. Anyways, watch out if you hear any stuff. Hmm. 
Oh. Alright, so Station Square. So Central Street. Easy. I guess you could call it a delivery job. <laughs> You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just a, a lot of your allowances? Hey. Want to meet up? Let's do it. Why don't we meet at karaoke tomorrow? We can talk private, and it'll be cheap after school. Ah, that must be, that must be what they call the hustle hour, dude. It's muscle hour. Wait, is that wrong too? Um, hello. Happy hour. Muscle hour just sounds sweaty. Karaoke. spend time with him but it's Thursday and bathhouse is good on Thursday nights more charm I wanted to stay longer, though. 